What the fuck do you think you're doing? Oh, nothing? Because what it looks like to me is you're cornering this kid in an alleyway and your fist is balled up. I'm not sure about you, but this scene doesn't look like nothing to me. You better come up with a good story then because it's Shark Week and I'm anything but happy. Bullshit. Do you think a loser like this would try to hit on your girl? Be fucking for real. Take a good look at them. That face doesn't scream Mr. Steal Your Girl. What a waste of a big ass head if you don't have a brain behind it. If stupidity were a superpower, you'd be the hero that nobody asked for. And I don't think that you understand who you're fucking with right now. That somewhat of a person that you have shaking like a leaf against the wall is my victim. And I don't like to share. I would like all of us to leave in one piece tonight, so I suggest you leave them alone. I said, leave them alone. You didn't even do anything? You expect me to believe that? Hey, dork. Did this fuckface hurt you? Physically, emotionally, verbally, anything? No, don't look at him. Look at me. Answer my question before I kick both of your asses. Oh, really? He shoved you and said mean things. Like what? Really? That doesn't sound like you didn't do anything. Also, just a tip. One asshole to another. Come up with better insults. I've seen better bullies in a preschool sandbox, so maybe consider a career change? I don't care. You don't get to just find the first person who looks vulnerable and pick on them because they can't defend themselves. Shut up. I'll deal with my hypocrisy later. Also, it's midnight in a dark, empty alley, so what's your point? Whoa, whoa. Your mouth is doing a whole lot of moving, but I don't hear anything. What the fuck did you just say? This is the part where you turn around and kindly fuck off. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to count down from five. If I still see you standing here, well, I won't spoil the fun. We can find out together. Five. Four. Three. Two. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, loser. Are you okay? I know that some mean things were said, but are you physically hurt? Let me see. Uh, you should be fine. It's a little red, but it won't bruise or anything. I stood up for you because, one, there is no one around that could help you. If I wasn't out here tonight, who knows what would have happened. And two, only I can fuck with you. Like I said, I don't share. Do I like seeing you in pain? Yes, but I'll be damned if I see anyone else trying to hurt you. Now be honest with me. Did you actually try to hit on his girl? <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. You saw a girl outside of a bar, and you were only asking for directions to the nearest convenience store so you could buy some Oreos? <laughs> That's actually funny as hell, but I don't expect a meathead like that to believe you. Did you ever get your Oreos? 
<sighs> of course he did. Come on, let's take a walk to the store. Don't worry about that, I'll buy it. I'm not being nice just to be nice. Clearly, you've been through a lot, and I can't keep tormenting you if you're not in good shape. Now let's go before I change my mind. Me? I was just stressed, so I went on a walk. I'm serious. Well, I can ask you the same thing. Why were you out so late? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know your relationship with your parents was like that. I'd want to tear up some Oreos too if I had to deal with that. I don't know why you think I'm lying. Why would I lie to you? My face isn't turning red. I'm just still mad from what I saw earlier. <sighs> okay. Fine. My friend was in that bar that you were outside of tonight and saw you talking to that dickhead's girlfriend. She called me up and I went out to find you. Happy? Because he's super insecure and I knew that if he saw you talking to her, your ass was toast. It's just gonna be this pack of Oreos. Oh, damn. I didn't know inflation was that bad. Here you go, boss. Keep the change. Here, kid. Where do you live? I'm gonna walk you home. I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. I wouldn't stalk you or try to bother you outside of school. That's lame. I just want to make sure that no one tries bothering you on the way back. I would usually say yes, but like I said, I don't want anyone bothering you. Plus, I'm a big girl. I can handle myself. Um, sure, I'll take one. Mmm. Mmm, fuck, that's good. It'd be even better if I had a glass of oat milk. I know, right? Wait, what? We had homework? Uh, I'm screwed. You will? Thanks. I think this is the first time you volunteered your work. Usually, I make you send it to me. You're right. Sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, but, um, I, um... Yeah, I, I remember when I said he's insecure. Okay, whoa. Relax, Dr. Phil. I don't need you to psychoanalyze me right now. Because I'm not... I'm... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am insecure. I don't have an explanation as to why I do what I do. I really make you feel that way? I usually take pleasure in knowing that I'm getting to you, but right now I feel like heaviness in my chest. Remorse? I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I guess guilt. I really don't want to talk about this right now. Oh, this is your place? Cool. Yeah, don't mention it. Well, I'm gonna go now. See you, loser. Huh? You want... A hug? Uh... I guess... Um... This 
feels weird. I, I guess I needed that too. Alright, I'll see you at school. Good night.